Hello all my little creators and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a desk tour. So you guys have been requesting to see my stationery and you guys wanted to see my desk. I've gotten a lot of DMs asking to see what I have. And so I'm finally going to do this video. And I've spent the past like 20 minutes trying to get my camera. The desk looks like it's lopsided. I, I tried fixing my camera and trying to position it in a way where it looks straight. I don't know. It just looks lopsided. But yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is my desk right now. It looks very organized right now. Um, I just have my laptop there and this is actually where I film my videos for Instagram and TikTok. This is where I do all my journal spreads. It's been taking, it took me a while to find like a nice backdrop. This is actually a placement map for like um, eating, but I was like, that looks pretty for like journal spread videos. But yeah, let's start over here. And this drawer I don't use at all. Honestly, half of these boxes are empty. I just kept them here just because I like the boxes. I want to, cause I don't like to throw, actually, no wait. There's, state, there's washi tapes in here. Never mind. Yeah. So these are all washi tapes. Um, also, I keep them in the boxes because I like the boxes. And eventually, I want to just use the boxes to make something. Maybe to add them into journal spreads or to create something out of it. But I have washi tapes in here. You can see. So yeah, I thought they were all empty. But apparently, they're not. But these boxes are empty here. These were all sticker flakes. But again, I kept the boxes just because I didn't want to look make this drawer look empty. So I just kept them there also because I'm eventually going to use these boxes. So I just kept them um, here. I just have like some pins and stuff like binder clips and paper clips just in case I have to clip something together. I also keep all of my um, memo pads. What are they called? Post-it notes. So I have a ton of post-it notes. I just write them to make like small notes and it's just it's just easy to like it's always good to have something on hand to just write notes on so i have that i have these envelopes i use these a lot for my business for like for like free goodies so i'll sometimes put my cards in here like the thank you cards and put them in there um i have some more stickers why are they here oh i could have used this for my journal spread this morning i totally forgot i did i had that um so yeah here i have some like hole punchers so I have them in different designs. I have a butterfly one. I have a heart one, a circle one, and a little owl. Oh, and this I actually made myself with some like tissue, not tissue paper, but yeah, I think it was like tissue paper and just some cardstock paper. It's just something I use like whenever I use cutouts or I print some stuff out for like journal spreads and I have leftover photos and I just store them away in here. And this is actually really easy to make. It looks like a little folder thing and you can like store things and be organized so that's really cool to have um and then this is just one of my three ring binders i have like some extra paper in here that i didn't use but yeah that's it for this drawer now this drawer now this one i don't really use either unless i'm gonna do some art kind of some kind of art thing so here i have like extras of items so i have this whole pack of glue sticks um i'm gonna get bigger glue sticks because these run out so quickly What's in here? I forgot what's in here. Oh, I think this is where I keep, yeah, I keep all of my holiday washi tapes in here. So I have like all of my Halloween washies. I have um, Easter washi tapes, Christmas ones, birthday ones. So I don't really use these even. Well, I'm gonna be using them now just because the holidays are around the corner. So I'm excited to use these washi tapes. Um, so yeah, I have washi tapes there. I have, um, paint brushes i have cups for when i'm painting um i have a huge thing of paper clips right there don't ask why i have that many i forgot why but that was like five dollars for like all those paper clips i have a sketchbook here for when i'm like doing some watercolor paintings or just painting in general i have my watercolor palette here i really need to get a new one because this is just really dirty and like the one I use the ones I use the most are, are already out like this white and the blues and it's very messy and I have some a lot of glitter here and some beads here that I'm gonna be using in a future video soon but yeah I have all this glitter I never use glitter but it's just there in case I need it this is to make shrinky dink charms I love making them I'll probably make a video soon on that 
So that's everything I have, my glue gun. So this is more of like tools and supplies for like painting and, and stuff like that. Okay, so let's move on to underneath my desk. So as you can tell, I don't have much room when I'm sitting here because everything's like just here. But <clears throat> this is where I keep like all my bigger containers, anything I can't fit on my desk. So there's like this nice space here, but I can't fit my legs through here. So here I have all my washi tapes, any washi tapes that don't fit up on my desk this is amazing i got this from amazon and i did an amazon haul before and i showed you guys this container i love things that are just efficient and this space anything that's vertical space is always the best and this fits all your washi tapes very well and so there's like three layers and if i wanted to i can e i can even like connect this to this one um but yeah i keep all of my washi tapes here and i have a lot more washi tapes up on my desk but i have dot stickers and you can take this one off and there's more washi tapes so i love this container and it fits all of my washi tapes perfectly so that's that over here i have my container of stickers and i'll show you guys that in a bit but i have all my containers here of loose stickers or cutouts that i don't have anywhere else to store and here i'm not going to take this out but these are just containers i don't really go here unless i need to get like extra stuff like down here is like my art section so i have like charcoal um i have paint i have oil paints and here i have like extras so like extra glue popsicle sticks stuff like that just random stuff and also i think i have a sketchbook down there and here i have all of my paper pads so this container is to store like paper but it's running out of space and i can't even close it so i have like other paper pads up here and then i have my paper cutter Okay, so this here is my container. This is where I keep all of my stickers, paper, like cutouts. So for instance, I have here, this is where I keep all of my, like these stickers. I don't know what you would call them, but they're just like words, like flower stickers, but with like quotes on them. So that's what I have in this container. This is amazing because you can fit a lot of stuff here. And it's just all in one place. Like, it's not like you have to put away all these containers because they're already encased inside of this big case. <laughs> this is where I have all of my girl stickers. I don't use these a lot. Um, I want to buy ones from Etsy, but they're very expensive and shipping is a lot longer for some reason. But I have these. I have to use these. So I have to find a way to just use them up. So these are very cute. I have all my red and yellow. The red ones are Japanese style um, cutouts or stickers, but I got these from Shein. I used to say Shane, but apparently it's Shein. Here I keep all of my mushroom stickers. Really pretty, they're all just red ones. I have other um, like, mushroom stickers i don't know why i just don't put them in here but yeah these are all just the red mushrooms i guess here are all my butterfly stickers i really i really haven't used much of these just because i don't know i'm not a fan of the colors they look very i don't know i like the more realistic looking butterflies or like i don't know like this i, I just don't really like this green but whatever, I'll find a way to use them. Maybe I'll put them into my packages for free goodies. Um, here are some vintage stickers and cutouts. I love this container. I use this one a lot. So. Here I have like, um, like all these little packets. These have stickers in them. This is a sticker book. So this is more of like this, my sticker book container. This one is mushroom sticker book i got two of these by accident but it doesn't matter this one is um just mushrooms and birds and like flowers and this one's more like angels i guess um but yeah i have this sticker book that i used a lot i want to get a new one already just because i know i'm going to be running out of those very quickly and then this one are vintage cutouts as well i got this one at hobby lobby very inexpensive. I got it on sale. It was like 40% off. 
So I got it for like three something for all this, which is an amazing price. And then here I have all of my flowers, all my flower stickers, which I use a lot of. They have really pretty ones. I wanna get more of these. So I'm gonna buy some more flower stickers soon. Um, and this one I got from Hobby Lobby as well. These are just cutouts and I don't really use these like on my journal spreads a lot. The only time I use these are for Halloween spreads because they just give me spooky, spooky vibes and I love these. Um, but I have all of these extra containers and can't wait to fill them up with new stationary items. And so, yeah. So this is a very, I love, things are efficient so this container is amazing again i'll leave it down below if you guys are gonna ask me um but yeah i'll leave this down below if you guys are interested okay now moving on to this side so a lot of my like sections aren't really like organized specifically i just put stuff there some of them are organized specifically and others aren't but Okay, here are all of my journals. These are all the journals that I'm currently using. The ones that I don't use, I have a lot more journals, but they're stored away somewhere else, either for giveaway or just to have there because I don't really use them. But here I have my art journals. This is a journal I'm currently using. This one I sometimes use, but not a lot, but I do have it there just because I will. Um, here's another, this is my vintage journal. This is my washi tape swatch, so I swatch all my washi tapes on here. I only started doing that right now. Um, this journal, I don't really use. I don't know why it's there. This is my my mini journal that I always do spreads on. And then I have another one of these for when I finish in this journal, which I'm almost finished. So, and look how satisfying. I love thick journals like that. And then here, I don't use these at all. I don't know why I even have them there, but yeah. I'm sure there was a reason I put them there. So here I have pouches. These are, I don't even use these pouches. They're just there in case I need to use them or I need to store some more stuff away. For instance, here, I think I have like markers. Yeah, I have like all my markers here. Oh my God, I've been trying to find these, no wonder. Okay, so these are all my Sharpie markers that I have there just in case. Actually, for when I make my shrinky dinks, this is what I use, these markers. Here I have more markers and pencils. I love this pouch, it's my favorite. It's really cute um here i have like pencils this i really don't use ever here where did i put in here oh okay i've been looking for that um so i have sometimes store some stuff this is the the pouch i used to use to when i'm going out somewhere and i want to take a journal uh, um and i want a journal but i have a different um pouch for that now um this is my pocket printer so this is where i print out my stickers and i haven't had paper in a while but this is where i print out my sticker my photo stickers so it's really really cool i i couldn't find this exact one on amazon for a while but i'll try to find it um but yeah you connect it to your phone and it's bluetooth so you if you, there's a picture you want to print out then you print it out and it comes out in sticker form so it's really really cool that is a must-have for scrapbookers and then this is just like to cut out the corners and make them like round that's for when i make journals and stuff okay so here it's random as well here i just have these are my cut my stencils i don't use stencils here are my stamp blocks i think that's what you call it but this is to make stamps and i used to make when i got this for christmas last last december i was like making stamps every single day for hours but yeah i want to do some more stamps maybe i'll show you guys in a video on how to do that but it's really really cool and really fun and it's a very inexpensive way to have stamps because i'm trying to grow my stamp collection and so i'm trying to get back into making stamps here is my i actually made this i used to sell these on my shop like to store stickers but this i took out all my sticker sheets and i just use them for like like you know when you get stickers and then it comes with a little cardstock thing and you see the design of the stickers yeah i keep all of that like i said i like to use them reuse those things for like journal spreads or anything like that or to make anything in the future so i have all this this is the package that the sticker flakes came in that i sold on my shop so i keep those so yeah that's what this is for okay here i have two containers i use this one a lot this is where i keep all of my like post-it not post-it notes but memo sheets so i have like little post-it note things here 
that I sometimes peel off and then put them into like journal spreads. Here are my memo sheets that I use. I love these. I use these a lot in my journal spreads. So this is where I keep those. I still have these in my shop. I have um, quite a few in stock right now. Yeah, so that's where I keep all of these. I love these clear containers. I need to get more of them because I love storing things away in there. And now this one is just filled with like stickers. So they were like themed and like this came in like one of my, I think this was picnic day. It was like all orange theme. I just put all of those in this container just because I didn't want them all separate. It was just, I just wanted them here. And also because it was just messy the way I had it before. So yeah, this is where I keep some of my stickers. Okay, down here, I keep my boxes of sticker flakes. So this is where I keep a lot of my sticker flakes and some of my washi tapes. This is just, I mean, I probably should find a spot in the washi tape section because I do have space, but I keep all of my sticker flakes in here. And this is a great little storage thing for sticker flakes. And you can get this at Walmart, Michael's, really cheap at Walmart. I got this there for like, I don't know, three, less than $5, but it's perfect. You can organize all your sticker flakes. I put some washi tapes in here. You can also get it for that. But yeah, here have my sticker quotes that I make on my thermal label printer. I did a video of that once. It's on my Instagram if you guys want to check out how you can make stickers with your thermal label printer. But yeah, this is one of my containers. And this is my other one. Also, I love decorating containers with stickers. That's a great way to decorate. But yeah, I have all of my sticker flakes and that looks pretty satisfying. So yeah, I have my strawberry kawaii ones. I have little drink ones, ice cream ones. Looks delicious. Um, yeah, I really don't even use sticker flakes as much as I thought I would but they're there in case I do need them for a journal spread because they're also kind of color coordinate, color coordinated. I have purples, blues, yellows, and yeah. And then here I just, I had this container and I didn't know what to put in it. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna put all of my binder clips that I have. So these are the binder clips that I use for like my journal spreads to kind of hold my pages down because as the journal gets thicker, kind of like does that thing where like flops back. So this is great to hold them down. I love it. Ooh, I love these. These are so cute and very aesthetic for the pictures. When I take pictures on my journal spreads, I love using these. They just look very nice and complete the, the page. So that was good. I get these containers at Walmart for like not even for like 97 cents. And here I have my drawer of stickers. So these are a lot of stickers. A lot of the stickers in here, I don't really use the ones that are all the way at the bottom. But yeah, these are the latest ones that I've been using, the Halloween stickers. For spooky season, best season, I have some sunflowers. These are more um, of my sticker books that I make, but I don't sell them anymore. I have more fall stickers. I'm gonna make some fall spreads soon for November little paw print ones. These are some sticker quotes. I get these at Hobby Lobby. You can get them at, on Amazon as well. Um, more stickers. I got these at Hobby Lobby, I think, also. Yeah, I have a lot of sticker sheets in here. These I got at the dollar store for a dollar. So check your local dollar store if you want to find some stickers. They also have some washi tapes, and I found some really cute ones there once. Another sticker book of mine. I just have a lot of... This was actually in the mail and I wanted to keep it because I was like, wow, that's really cute. And this would be really cool for um, just journal spreads for Christmas theme. So I have more. I don't use these at all. So, and I love this little drawer. So that's everything in this section. Now let's move on to the middle section. So this is where I store all of my washi tapes and again, I don't really use these washi tapes as much. I feel like the newer stationary items that I get are the ones that I use the most. So like since these are like, I got these so long ago, I don't even use these. I actually had to clean these because they were just getting dusty, which was gross. Um, but yeah, I got these little containers at, um, at Walmart for like, I don't know how much, but it was less than $5 and they fit all my washi tapes. I have more washi tapes here. These I never took out of the case. Um, I got another one of these containers, the ones that I put my sticker fix in, and I use them for my washi tapes as well. Let me get this out. This is actually a little tape dispenser I got at Walmart. 
also this um washi tape the princess one was from walmart no no it was from the dollar store this one was from the dollar store for a dollar like that was really good and it's a nice size washi tape so i love these little dispensers i have more washi tapes here that i got from amazon another washi tape i have more washi tapes here these are my vintage washies which i love and yeah i keep them in in the container that it comes in and more washi tapes because you can never have too many this was actually missing one when i got it from from amazon it was i was missing one and then my container of washi tapes here these are very messy because i was running out of space and these didn't fit but i wanted to keep them all together because these come um together so um i just kind of put them in like that And then I just store all my washies here and then just stack them together. So those are my tapes. And then here is just pencils, scissors, anything like that, markers that I sometimes use, um, stapler, I don't have any tape. I have my memo sheets here, just in case I need them to write notes, but they just look cute. I love the milk carton style, which is why I kept them there. Um, so I love those. Also, I just decorated my wall with some stickers and some quotes from Miley Cyrus. I was born to run. I don't belong to anyone. I don't need to be loved by you. Um, yeah, I love that song, but I just put some stickers. And yeah, over here, this is where I keep all of my stamp stuff. So up here, I have my ink pads. I have black. I actually don't think that these color ones even work or if they even have ink because I've had them there for a while and I don't really use them because I usually just use black one. Um, so I have my ink pad there. Here I have my ink or my stamps. I'm trying to grow my stamp collection. So these are a few. I only have three. I actually have these letter stamps back here, but I have this cute flower one that I got from Hobby Lobby got this one actually no i got this from shein i got this one from hobby lobby and i got this one i don't know where it's a cute little fox and this is actually what i use to do my stamp my wax stamp seal which i love i've been having a lot of fun so that's where i keep my container of wax beads so this is my container and it comes with all these really pretty colors and it's very satisfying Look how pretty that is. Very satisfying. I love using wax seal stamps. And over here, I actually put this here when I was organizing my desk today, but this I got, but this is actually like divided. Like it's different containers. Like you put something here and then there's something there, but I'm like, I had all these like long, sticker sheets that i couldn't put anywhere because it was just it didn't fit anywhere um so i was like oh this is a perfect place to put it in. and also it just looks very aesthetic so that's why i put that there mostly because i just like the way it looked so that's it for the middle section okay so the first drawer it's very random so i have a lot of containers but over here i have my sticker quotes again these are ones that i made with my thermal label printer and I have a post on my Instagram showing you how to do it. Um, but yeah, I keep all my sticker quotes. I always use these in my journal spreads. I always have to. I love these. I love quotes. I, I used to collect quotes all the time. Like if you go down my Google Photos, it's all just quotes from Pinterest. So I love them. And yeah, making journal spreads is a great way to make them and make them look cute. So here I have all my little sticker books. I love you guys have been commenting, seeing what they look like. But they're just very simple they're just sticker sheets so you rip them off and then you peel the stickers off so this is a red kawaii theme one i have a lot of them i have new sticker books coming in on my shop so i'm excited about that so here are some more ones i use these the most these are the ones i use the most so yeah these are this is the white color scheme i love this one and then this one's the pink one yeah and then my other ones are just the kawaii ones so this is where all my sticker books go 
here i just have these little tin cans i got this one uh on Shein and then this one at Walmart they're just Altoids um but I kept the can just because it's a great way to just store some stationary items like stickers and stuff like that these I got years ago I don't really use these much but I should so this is a great way to store some stickers so yeah just get an Altoid can a little mint can and then yeah or you can maybe decorate it get a silver one and decorate it which is always cute to do here i just put these away today i organ again i organized a lot of stuff but this is just i just couldn't find a place to put these so these are like my post card little cards yeah so these are little cards you can see and you just paste them i don't i don't know how i feel about these just because they make the page really thick so these are just little cards i wish they were stickers but yeah I have these i do use them sometimes not a lot though but i do want to use them again because they're really really pretty and then here are my music lyric qu quotes these aren't stickers you these are like song lyrics see anywhere you are i am near anywhere you go i'll be there so they kind of look like you know play this when you play a song so these are really pretty i love these i should use these a lot more because i don't so these are really really cute and then I have my dictionary um, se series. Um, these, you just like take it off and then you can just paste it into your journal. I love this. I love things with letters, with lettering or, you know, words or sayings. So yeah, these go in, these are from words that range from T to Z. So yeah, I've used these and I wanna use them a lot more. So that's in this container over here so this i do use my journal spreads this is a little treasure chest i got from hobby lobby and i used to put my paper scraps in here but not anymore now i make these like mini little journal cards Ooh, let me try to get it out these are my journal cards that i make i make these and put quotes on them and then just like design them and i use these to use my um my wax seal stamp and yeah they're just little cards with with quotes and like it's mostly so you can read these cute sayings and like feel inspired or something like that but they're just cute and that's where i store these i thought this was a perfect place to put them away and i love this little treasure chest and this is where i put the scraps of paper i use these papers to design my cards but they're just here so that they're ready to go so and then i have this over here I don't really use this for anything specifically. I just store things just randomly in here, depending on, I don't know, if I can't find a spot for it. But this I use for my packaging. I like to de decorate the poly mailers with this on the outside. Sometimes I'll use these little girl stickers. So I just store random stuff in here. I guess this is more for decorating my packages, I guess you can say, because I use these flower washi tapes down here as well. So this is what I use to decorate my packages. So that's this shelf. So these next two shelves are a lot of pouches. These are a lot of wallets. So these, this is a wallet, this is a wallet, this is a wallet. And wallets are a great way or a great place to store your stationery. You might not think so, but it really is and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so these are all of my wallets and I'm gonna show you. This is nice and thick too. Um, so here I store, these are like where you would put your cards, but this is where I put a lot of my stickers. I have some paper sheets here. There's great room here. I put these um, tags or cards that I got from Hobby Lobby. And here I put a lot of my stickers. I did an Amazon haul where I showed you these stickers, um, but this is where I store all of them. These are some sheets that you can put into your scrapbook. So... Yeah, I went to Walmart after get using one of my wallets and I got more. So this is one I got from Walmart. And it fits perfectly. I love this one. This one's very nice. This one I don't have a lot. And like here, I just have some sheets in here. I'm still trying to fill this up. But I have some stickers there. I have some stickers in here too. 
but it's great also this is a perfect way for like if you're going on vacation and you want to take stationery but you're like oh i don't have any where to put it i don't want to take my containers and stuff this is a great way you can store a lot in here so this is the first wallet this was actually my mom's wallet she gave it to me and so this was the first wallet that i used to put away my stationery i have stickers in here i have some sheets some paper stuff here I store some more I made this little card here just to because I was just like a window for your ID but I'm like oh let me just make a little cute card for it to look nice and decorative more paper sheets I have some book pages in here because I love using this for my journal spreads I always use them in my spreads all the time I have some more papers over here cute decorative ones I have more stickers in here, the same squares that I had in my other one. And then here's some more paper, like grid paper. And then I just keep my tweezers in here for journaling. And then back here, there's more space. There's a zipper where you put your coins, but I just use them to put my stickers. And then there's this little slot here that I put more stickers in. So this is amazing and I love this and I love I've been obsessed with wallets now. I never really cared for wallets before until now. And then I have more pouches here. I'll show you what I have there. So yeah, lots and lots of pouches. So this here is where I keep more of my stickers. I didn't have anywhere else to put because these are probably like bigger. Um, I showed you the, the sticker book that I made. I used to have a lot of these sticker books there, but they were too heavy and they were breaking the page apart. So I just took them out and just made this where I put like other sticker books. I have some sticker sheets in here. These were from my shop. Some more stickers here. I love this. I want to eventually put this on my shop as well. I got this um, pouch on Amazon. I'll leave in the description down below. Um, I have these sticker sheets here. These were loose, so I put them in this little mesh thing. This is actually pretty. I never used these. I used like a couple of the stickers. This whole video is just me saying, I never use these. And then I have more sticker sheets here. These are all loose and I just put this paper clip on it so that they would just stay together because I don't want them just like rolling around everywhere. These as well. I have all my ribbon stickers, my bear stickers. And yeah, this is a great place to put your sticker sheets. There's just a lot of space and I still have a lot left. Like I can fill that up a lot more. And then there's this cute little mesh thing and you can fit really big sheets, um, sticker sheets here and yeah. And then this one, this was actually given to me by my older sister a few years ago for Christmas. Hi guys. <laughs> um, but I'm using this to just store more sheets of paper because I didn't have anywhere else to store it. So I'm like, okay, I'll just store them in here. So I use this. This was actually originally for like a makeup bag, I think. I'm not sure. I think it was, but I'm just using this to put more sheets of paper in them. Cause storing paper is tricky. Cause once you, like when you start ripping them and you're like, okay, I'm gonna save this piece. Then it just starts to look very messy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like saving these little pieces. It just looks very messy. So I just dedicated this pouch to that. More sheets of paper in here and I can fit a lot in here. Okay, and the last part is where I keep all of my papers. So I have a lot more cardstock papers here. These are ones that are just smaller, small enough that I can just put in one of these slots. So I have mini paper pads here. I get these a lot from Hobby Lobby for a good price, usually when it's on sale, but I have mini paper pads and I have a lot more here. I hate when it starts to look very messy like this, but what are you gonna do? So I have all these and I have just loose sheath, sheets of paper. And I actually got this pack of paper from Walmart for an amazing price. It was like two something. 
but it came with a lot more than this. The other ones are in this box. And I got this super cute box from Hobby Lobby. I love wooden storage boxes. And so I keep all of my papers here. These are ones I got from Walmart, but I have a lot. And this fit a lot of my papers. And I'm so glad about that because paper is one of those things that are very annoying to store because they get dusty if you have them in an open like container somewhere so i wanted something that was closed so this fit perfectly there and all of my sheets of paper this is just some grid paper that i have and i cut them up when i want to use them for my journal spreads and yeah here there's nothing stationary wise in this drawer i just keep a lot of my cords and chargers in here i have a calculator so not exciting and down here there's nothing exciting either this is just dedicated to my jewelry business that i have so i keep all my um beads in here all my containers and any wire and glue so Okay, you guys, so that is it for my stationery desk tour. I hope you guys learned some things on how to store your stationery items because I've gotten a lot of questions about how I store my items like my washi tapes and my stickers. So I hope you guys got something from this video. So I'll leave all the links to everything that I said down below in my description. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss one of my videos. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.